the heroine, the lady of the book, having a blackout. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that that yeah, that definitely made it more interesting um, and different from the get go. Because now you want to know what the fuck happened mm-hmm. last night. It's like a the hangover, but a romance version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just want to know: Do you guys think? No, I was saying it's kind of like the hangover kind of. Vibe. Yeah, yeah, it does give that hangover vibe. It definitely does. I'm not I sure if this book came out before or after the hangover. Stuff. I was saying I personally want to have that kind of moment. To be honest, like I'm ready <laughs> for that kind of moment to happen in my life. Like, no, by the way, no, I'm here. Take me. I told mm-hmm. your mother that you're going to a strip club. By the oh, way, oh my <laughs> gosh, how up. could you do that to me? Because <laughs> you're keeping me. That's the problem. Yeah, I am like the problem child to her. Yeah, no, she knows that. But yeah, I, 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 I actually think it actually sets a tone where you wake up and wonder what happened last night. Like, you know what? What happened? Like, <laughs> who was that guy? <laughs> I think we've all had moments like that. If you haven't, then you're not a dream. No, definitely not. And not at all. I also haven't had my moment yet. I feel like I'll probably have my moment when I get to Cape Town. There's so many definitely. plans <laughs> yeah. going on with Cape Town that it's so like it's not realistic like i'm like oh my gosh a part of me is super excited but honestly my other part is just like am i really doing this to myself <laughs> doing what to yourself you enjoy life my girl take me off the door please <laughs> no honestly i definitely i'm gonna do that but i know that whatever is going on that side of the world i was saying whatever happens in vegas I definitely mean, stays there yes definitely eh? <laughs> I'm not as happy. Yeah. I mean, to keep this shit. <laughs> I want everyone to come. That no, guys. I'm not a part of it. So you guys yeah. can't have, like, can't keep it a secret. I need to know every <laughs> detail. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll fill you in on that. Yeah, I will definitely spill the tea when I get back. <laughs> Mark, you better have all of that good weed that you've been Dude, posting ready for me. She has. I'm sure she has, though, hey. I really am sure she has. I do have the week, don't worry. <laughs> that's one thing I'm never unsure of. So I'm, don't worry, that's one thing I'll have. So anyway, so mm-hmm. the book starts off with a blackout, okay? So the first question would be, do you think that the writing from the first person perspective, you know, deprived the book from the much needed perspective of David at that moment? Because remember, she doesn't remember anything, and he remembers everything, okay? And he's quite rude to her in the beginning. So, you know, it kind of put you off him at the same time that you're also more curious about his character. I actually felt like he wasn't really rude. I just felt like he was actually hurt. That's only because you did the wild. <laughs> and all the fucked up Yes. Okay. That's only because I'm fucked up. But I, I honestly think because I like you know what she like me most of the mornings and she doesn't remember like half of the shit that went on. But guy thinks okay fine. I I had a connection mm. last night, but this girl doesn't remember. Like what the hell? <laughs> so I think I, I I really don't think he was rude though. Right? He was just in his. Em- he was in his feelings yeah i honestly i i love the way it was i feel like in a way it was also like that whole bad boy vibe like i haven't experienced like something start that way and when you were saying exactly when um, it made you want to get to the next part of like, like what was happening i really wanted to know what was like going to happen how we're going to find everything out it was a brush of fresh air i really the passion all of that was just there for me from like the get go i wanted that in a book and with like not having like the energy or the emotion to want to read it really brought it back for me in a sense that i'm like oh my way coming up i need all of this to happen for me so that part of it was like oh if i get drunk and i don't remember what happened today please call me on everything man call you it's okay <laughs> that happened to me already but uh... <laughs> They didn't want to figure out really what happened. <laughs> they were like you was, like you was, bro. <laughs> you wake up with no underwear. Where is the underwear? Bro? Like waking up <laughs> with no underwear. Usually, it's on my finger. I'd be like, what the hell? That happens next week and very, very hard alcohol. <laughs> I know. That's when I would remember Jack shit. <laughs> 
but you're still pretty close, so you feel some somewhat. You feel some pride, man. <laughs> yeah, and then you wonder, okay, how did we get here? And then the guy starts explaining, and you're like, oh, uh, so you like you didn't do anything. <laughs> Hey, um, you didn't do the same. No, no, like, yeah, you did. Like really, so we just slept. Hey, like okay. <laughs> I think I lost had that, that kind of vibe when I was in matric. No way. I, I remember everything that happened in the club, but the minute I walked out of that club, I have no recollection until today <laughs> about what happened in outside of that day. I remember getting into the car. After the car, there was sex involved. There was this involved, but honestly, I don't remember no. half or more of it than I. I probably should, but hey, it was just that fast. It's Vegas, baby. It's Vegas. <laughs> I'm just saying it's Vegas. <laughs> I don't think Vegas is a place anymore. I think people just use it in general. No, it's in our minds, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's Vegas in the mind. A little picnic area here, hey. Hey. I've got a little picnic area with wine and, and nuts and you you know what? I'm a drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to start the AA group as well. <laughs> no, buddy. You won't win with that one. We're three in denial for that one. I think I only started drinking again three weeks ago, so I don't want to be part of the AA. I'll be there for the drinks. Never because... how? Girl, I was drinking and then I stopped last year may so for like a good year and a couple of months i was not drinking really yeah mother, i started your mother big <laughs> she thinks you're a well i am but i like literally i started drinking again on the 17th and then the jc laroon nectar was like oh, oh it's beautiful, beautiful. It, it is hey. Hey. yeah so well you I tried started. it no mm-hmm. i don't i don't drink Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, I didn't drink the choice. I'm not a huge um, fan of Tracy Lodu. I like my either and my wine and then all. Okay. Try it, though, eh? I'm not a huge fan of bubbles, mm. but I actually like this. Yeah. Same I here. Mind. It, it's I'm not sweet. You. It's not bitter. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just in between. Yeah. yeah. In between. <laughs> That's in between, bro. Like, you know how we all hated adult, like adult prof? Oh no, I loved yeah. it from the get go, hey. You did? I loved it from Dude, the get I never liked get-go. this thing. Well, Trust Day was my go to. Like, there was a time when I used to drink like three bottles, was like my maximum. And I'd be like, okay, I'm done now. I hate Savannah. That's like, I still till today can't stomach that thing. But the rest, I'm, I'm down for, man. I'm down for. <laughs> I like how you guys, guys talk about the alcohol, but we're supposed to talk about <laughs> the, the... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Sorry. Moving over the alcohol. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the book, guys. <laughs> anyway, in the book that is quite different is the fact that the chick in the book, okay, she clearly has weight issues, okay? And you see her always talking down about herself. Okay. Um, which is different to some of the books that we've read. We, the lady in the book would normally, you know, be more of a badass and fuck you kind of attitude. So how does that, you know, affect the specific book or is it working imperfectly? Do you have an issue with it or what? I personally, I didn't have an issue with it. I think in a way it reminded me of um, a little bit of the mistake with the deal, one of those two books. And... For me, the book also was very, I'd say, personal in a way. Like, a lot of the things was a little bit personal. Cause for the past, I think, couple of months, I was not feeling too good about myself. I was not having it with anything. Uh, my weight was a problem. I lost so much weight. I was, like, stressed and all of those things. So, when I got to the book and I got into the character, I, I actually fell in love with her in a way. That was a little bit surprising, but it was like I needed to see it from that point of view as well. Yeah, I think we all have dealt with some with this specifically as women at some on some some time in our lives on, on some level. Like you don't like yourself, you don't like the way you look. You you always want to lose just a little bit and look differently and everything. And it takes a while for us to learn to appreciate the way we look and and love it. Yeah. So I. I felt like she was just a regular person. I didn't think it was a big issue at all. I just was like, oh, she's human. 
Yeah. It's normal. I think everyone's self-conscious. I, I am, you know, and I wasn't much when I was a age. If I look at the age of one, it wasn't much itself, but now I am. Kids and wine and we And then you, you feel very self-conscious. Especially when you can't wash your hair every day the way you use or at least do it every day. So yeah, I, I, I do agree with you. Neva, are you back? Yeah, I am. Um, my phone just keeps messing around oh. in my life. The other thing is Evelyn's ignorance. Okay, considering um, she doesn't really know David. So, if we had to put ourselves in this position, it happens to be a huge rock star. Okay, For some people, maybe you guys can clarify on this issue. I listen to rock, so for me, I would know if I meet her, and I would know obviously that this is a bit of Whereas, you know, in her in her perspective, she didn't really, she wasn't interested in that type of thing. And now the ignorance still not knowing who David really is. You know, if you met him in a bar, do you believe you? Are you sold on that point? Or is it just like, just to add to the story as well? I can sort of understand, sort of, because what's that K-pop band that yeah. everyone's going crazy about? I just called The guy one, not the girl one. What? Yeah, there's so many of them. <laughs> uh, no, it has a lot of, it has, I think it has like six or seven members yeah. or something. I forgot their name. I have... I mean, I don't know what they look like. I know, I forgot the name of the band, but I know it exists. I've never heard a single one of their songs. I don't want to lie. Please don't come for me. I don't know. I, I literally don't know any K-pop music. I've never heard any K-pop know. song ever. So... <laughs> so, but also, you know, like, you know, in, in the world of social media and all that stuff, you... I mean, if your best friend knows and loves this band, you would at least know what they look like. Yeah. But I can also, I think if, if it wasn't the situation, if her friend wasn't really into the band and have a poster of it and stuff, then um, I would get it. But I know what my sister's favorite song is. And I mean, and I, I don't, I don't, I couldn't, I don't, I don't think that was very realistic. I didn't, I didn't get that part. So for me, if the friend wasn't really into it, then I would have understood how she cannot know who this person is. Yeah. No, I'm... <laughs> I feel like also, I mean, you've probably been at your best friend's place a million one times. There's no way you have, haven't seen a poster or something up on the wall or something like that for her talking exactly. about Exactly, and they so, live and together. Like, exactly. She lives with her best friend. Right? And if you, like, talk to... I mean, social media is there like everybody like i'm sure if your best friend mentioned the band you go you google realistically i mean if my friend mentioned somebody i want to know who it is because you were raving about this person so obviously i want to like know who the hell this is maybe i listen to something but it wasn't hot. the most realistic thing yeah and considering it's hot. you know sometimes you just know the singer or band because of the lead yeah. Or whatever the case may be, and you don't even listen to their music, but you know that, that this person's hot, okay? Um, like Ricky in case or whatever the fuck name is, or is it Ricky Mott? But anyway, <laughs> I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have a poster up of a dude, or you know, have an album, but you know, I do know that that's Ricky Mott. You know, <laughs> he's gay, I think. But yeah, you know, that uh, no. Normally that would be the mindset around this. But look, it works well with the book, considering that she had this whole blackout kind of thing. So I think you can also pass it on to the blackout. Do you want to really take the blackout as far as you want to take it? That she doesn't even know who a popular singer is at that book the next day. So yeah, I suppose it could work. And also it's very unrealistic. But it works for this. So then, of course, after all this much needed you know, confusion that was now in the of the book. Then, um, you know, there's this media frenzy that happens outside her house, and he calls her up on, obviously via the security guy, and he's like, oh, come to my place, just to obviously um, sort everything out, because they still got the divorce papers and stuff to do. So um, it just made sense that she goes there, okay? And then obviously while she's there, she meets other members of the band and kind of gets some kind of insight into his world and what he deals with okay, on a daily basis. So I thought he was an asshole in the beginning. So that part kind of made Ooh. me warm up to him a little bit. 
obviously it's also the more steamier part. What do you guys feel about that part of the book where they actually go and they spend time together in, at his house alone? I think in a lot of these things, it's always where you don't necessarily... I think with a lot of these characters at the beginning, sometimes they're always like the as they tend to be. And you're just like, oh, this guy is so frustrating. Damn it. And then they like pull out this grand gesture and like, oh, really? We just had to go and do that. It it's kind of like heartwarming and you see a different side to the character where you kind of wanted to roll over in real life and you're like oh i want a bad boy and i really want you to do all these things. personally i would never be able to date someone that's soft because i feel like i would sit on top of their heads <laughs> all of the damn yeah a couple of years ago i read an article by some woman feminist something and she was talking about how these fairy tales are bad for girls particularly what's this one oh they made a movie out of it with the beast beauty and the beast beauty uh, yeah (laughs) beauty and the beast and she said we are teaching our girls that you meet a guy and he's a dick, right? He's a complete Mm a-hole. But if you love him hard enough, he will eventually turn into a prince. And at the time, I didn't really understand it. But what she said is translated to a real life, to you now. You date your dickhead boyfriend because in the beginning he was Mm -hmm. nice. You know, they all it's always like that, right? They always nice and charming and take you out and everything and then six months later he's like why do i have to take you to the movies i can just download a movie and watch it on my laptop kind of thing yeah so (laughs) you know so um and you think if you if you can love him you know love him enough and be nice enough and cook and clean and wash his underwear he will be the prince he was pretending to be in the beginning and books like this as much as i actually love the book it annoys me that it's always the same trope it's always the guy who's a dick in the beginning and you hate him and then he does this one thing and all of a sudden oh you know true. so i <laughs> true I, I i really do i really hate it because i mean now i know better yeah. right and and it's just so annoying that it's the same thing i wish if i wish i get People are complicated and, you know, you're not one thing you, you would, we have complex characters and of course he's going to act like a dick in the beginning because of how he felt and how she, she was reacting to his most perfect night ever meeting the girl of his dreams and everything. But I mean, did he have to be, did he have to be that rude? He couldn't have just said, I hate what you're doing and just being himself. Okay. It would have been a book then. (laughs) Yeah, well, it wouldn't be a book if it wasn't like that. <laughs> true. I think also, as a little girl, you kind of always want the, this whole fairy tale thing. I mean, you mm. watch it in movies, read it in books, and if you ideally you want that. Mm-hmm. And having a dick as a boyfriend is oh, it's hell in its own. And I feel like honestly, once they love you the way they're supposed to love you, you're just like, you know what? Fuck it, I can't do it anymore. No, I already got all the. I got the good and then I got the bad and now I just can't do the good anymore. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I do get it. I do understand those. But yeah. This is... <laughs> so it... You do see this stroke a lot. But in the end, it's called the bad boy. Right? Um. So it's bad boy. Cool. Um, so it's almost always guaranteed that he's a dick. And there's like a whole background story as to why. And with that, you kind of also, you know his background but also you know his brother brothers yeah. also but you know what i mean and if you actually read the series which this obviously is of the whole band um i think the next book is of his brother i'm not sure or the third one is of his brother but it kind of runs parallel to to david and evelyn's story okay Mm. And um, you get to see Martha. Martha who is busy helping his brother. And that kind of a little bit more darker. So, um, yes, David seems sweet, but he's very sweet compared to his brother. Because his brother is really fucked up. His brother is, you know, on drugs and 
it's all because of the the um what happened in their childhood. You know what I'm mean? remember with this book we don't really get the full story of David. And um the reason why you feel that way about him is because you don't really know. Because it's not there's not even one part in the book where you know, you can say, okay, he's standing his side of the story. You don't know that. So it's almost like he got his first chance at happiness and he took it when he saw it, you know. And then this chick doesn't remember what is happening. So you can almost say he's more hurt throughout the whole process than anything else. And she, she gets to get away with it because she doesn't remember. So you could actually make her out to be the bad guy too. Um, and I think that's why I like this book so much is because it, it is different if we're going to use a bad boy trope. Because it's different in the way that you the 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 goal is not perfect. Um, but I suppose you would have had to read the series and have read the books or have look at other things because it's difficult to kind of remember every little detail that is put or written out already. Um. So yeah. But if you have to compare it to real life, yes, the Beauty and the Beast reference. <laughs> I never even thought of it that way, honestly. <laughs> I just I just took the storyline like ugly people can be beautiful too. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I thought of it. But it's true though. Every um Princess Disney story, if you look at Frog Prince also the Princess and the Frog, what's it called? So she, he's a frog but then she kisses him and he turns into I do, I do get it as well. Anyone else wanna add anything to this or is everyone fine with what we discussed so far? Anyone else have a different take on it? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Uh, I think we're just going to end it now because it is late already. Yeah. Uh, this, thank you for joining. I think this is your first one, eh? Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join us for the next one. I had and yeah. Fun. Thanks. I, I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining. I don't know where my voice <laughs> went. It's the cigarettes I'm smoking. <laughs> I still pay for the, the cheap cigarettes because I'm not going to pay back to that fees again that I was paying during lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to. <laughs> anyway, good night. I hope you had a wonderful evening. Okay, thanks, guys. Good night. Good night.